it is common that uh, we have a system with uh, independent behaviors and uh, those behaviors uh, they are executed in the context of each part of the system like for example here we have satellite subsystem and it has two units and um, somehow they need to communicate the problem here is that um, they are really not like uh, representing uh, parts of the system they are a logical grouping of the system in many cases so for example um, two units they combine together uh, creates the system right uh, subsystem and then uh, units behavior is actually in combination creates subsystem behavior right so that means that uh, subsystem uh, when it behaves it's actually all those behaviors are really done by unit uh, and unit one and unit two right uh, same with satellite satellite is actually grouping thing you know for the subsystems and then unit one and unit two uh, a, a group uh, are grouped by the subsystem uh, but um, in uh, cases when uh, we want to actually show that uh, they are doing uh, uh, behavior at the subsystem level and at the satellite level, right? We can do it uh, by modeling actually those behaviors. Uh, and in this case, we have a very simple situation when we have uh, state machines. Those state machines are uh, represented um, uh, rep representing satellite state machine. So we have like off and on, operational and off state machine, then subsystem off and on, and then unit state machines off and on, off and on. And you see that they exist uh, here, selecting containment tree in each of the blocks as a main uh, behavior. So if we'll select like unit one, we see that it's classifier behavior. It is the main behavior which will be executed by that. So um, uh, there are many ways how uh, blocks can communicate through interfaces uh, and um, uh, with signals with value change and so on and you can find those uh, information in other videos but in this case we want to talk about uh, how to actually synchronize behaviors which actually of the different abstraction level representing uh, uh, separate system uh, parts uh, like subsystem and units and satellite so in this case for example uh, specifically we want to show that if we are switching from off to operational whole satellite that parts of the satellite will switch on so that includes like a subsystem and units that they would switch to on and that also could be like more states uh, you know like we can switch uh, between state system and then parts should switch uh, in some specific way you know not necessarily that in the same way right uh, as a whole uh, system state machine and uh, the best way perhaps to do it is through the um, parametric diagram uh, creating properties uh, like for example in this case uh, in unit one and unit two we created uh, unit on unit uh, on properties which are boolean and subsystem on boolean and then in the whole system because it will control all those state machines we created all of those properties like subsystem on unit two on unit one on and on uh, for the whole system which is maybe not needed here but like we just wanted to create it. okay and then uh, with the help of parametric diagram as you can see here selecting containment tree this parametric diagram is actually in this uh, satellite block we are connecting that uh, property unit one on from the main block to the unit on block and two two and subsystem subsystem that will give us ability to provide update of the property values when we are updating here state machine and then uh, react to that update you know by the local state machines and that's this way we will control simulation from uh, one state machine in other state machines that could work both ways you know you can do like updates from here to there and so on now let's take a look at the first state machine this is that satellite state machine and you see here that uh, it switches from off to on uh, and it has two signals like they are represented by those uh, you see transitions like on signal and off signal and then uh, here on the transition we are also performing the effect effect uh, here which is like opaque behavior and then we can just type that uh, you know uh, 
uh, property update. So you see subsystem on equal assign false, 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 false to all of them, you know. And then uh, as a result of that, and then true, true, true on uh, this transition, right? Uh, we can switch them those transitions to directions. Okay, so this one will be true, this one will be false. Okay, and as a result of that, when we get updated those properties, those properties get updated here and they are bind to the properties of those subsystem units. And then in subsystem and units, we are listening here. You see like when uh, the properties is equal to false, we switch from on to off. When is equal to true, we switch to from uh, off to on. And that's it. So now that this is change event, right? Uh, and uh, the same for the units. And now we will execute this satellite, right click, run. You see we get, you know, properties false by default, false also on those units, you see false. This is version 2021X. Uh, it shows the properties, it shows a few other things uh, compared to 19 version. You see property values are shown in, I, uh, in parametric diagram in, in IBD. And now when we'll run this behavior, execute run behavior, you see it's in off because all of them, you know, initial state, you know, off. And uh, here we see also state of the parts, you see, like this is also new capability. And now when we'll switch uh, by sending signal, um, let me move this one a little bit, by sending signal on, it will, uh, trigger this to operational this will set all those properties those properties will be set and then uh, through the binding it will be set in the components they are listening for the property change and then we will switch in those component states so let's switch to on and you see everything switched to on right and that those components actually depend on this property see like see it it actually depends on this property you see switching between uh, states same for subsystem you see depends on this property and gets updated both ways you see because this is just a binding connector we could put like a constraint in between to say like a equal b and that would uh, uh, remove this both ways update you know it would be just one way because you know it is um, causal update okay so then uh, you know like if we will switch whole system off everything switches off if the parts of the system are already on and the system is not yet on like for example in this case system is off parts are on you know that could also happen you know if you want to control like multiple advanced state machines in each of that they could have different states than the whole system if you want to do this you can do it because like as you can see here we don't depend on that you know we can just switch on and that will override those state machines based on the logic which we created. So it's kind of flexible here. So this is the the way how we can control. And again, it's in the case when we have those uh, different abstraction levels of, in the system um, uh, and um, not necessarily the case when we have two, for example, units communicating in the same subsystem with the behaviors in the units. In that case, we can use uh, signals we can use value updates directly and send through the interfaces in this case we don't have any interfaces you see there is no interfaces and actual there is no actual communication between them because we are just uh, you know making the two units making the whole of subsystem and then subsystems uh, making the whole of satellites and then do we want to track behavior from satellites or control behavior uh, of the other parts through the satellite behavior as we can achieve here and we achieved here in this sample.